Hi, I'm Nancy Angelini. I am the new Pro-Alaska State Ambassador for the Portrait Society of America. That's almost enough for an interview right there. That's a mouthful, but <laughs> it's not about me today. It's about, um, we're here with uh, Robin Damore, mm -hmm. and she is here in Wasilla at Paoletti Studio Art, teaching a three-day workshop on right. portraits. Right. So, yay, Robin, welcome. Hey, and thank, thank you. you. It's yeah. great to be in Alaska. Good, good. <laughs> well, we love having you. So, <laughs> it's so wonderful to have uh, talent come here and help us all grow. So, such a nice group of people. Your really. work is beautiful. Thank you. So, thank yeah. you. So, um, I, simple questions. Uh, how long have you been painting? Um, I started painting when I was 45. Uh, I've, I've been painting for about 20 years. I just gave away my age. <laughs> um, and uh, 32. Uh, 32, carry the That's one. That's my um, <laughs> Uh, and I um, uh, had been drawing for a couple of years and wondered if I could paint. And so I took a, a one-week painting class from a Russian uh, master who had come to Seattle uh, to teach a class. And um, everybody in the class were experienced painters. I was the only one who had never painted. Oh. And... Uh, at the end of the class, the teacher called me and he said, I can't believe you've never painted. You should come and study with me in New York. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, and so, so I um, had just sold a business and I uh, rented a little apartment in Soho and uh, went and painted with him for not that long, um, two to three weeks. And uh, we went to the museums and galleries, mm -hmm. and uh, we brought models into this apartment. And we did portraits in the morning and nudes in the afternoon. And uh, you know, at the end of the uh, of the time, you know, he said, "You could start to do commissioned work." I, I, I mean, I kind of can't believe I'm saying that, but um, you obviously had been looking a long time mm -hmm. and you've looked long enough oh, kind of thing. Oh, what a wonderful thing and, to hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so I, um, I came back, I uh, rented a studio and I, I started painting. Um, and I did a lot of photography as well. I've been a photographer for about 30 years. And so I knew how to get a good resource photograph uh, to begin with. Mm -hmm. and uh, But I just stepped up my photography and my painting. And I tend to work from, from photographs uh, because I know how to get a really good photograph. That's so important. Too. Yeah. Wow. And then I, I have a large format printer, so I print them mm -hmm. to the size of the canvas that I'm working on uh -huh. so that I can work one to one. Okay. And also so I can measure to make sure that the drawing is correct. Oh, neat. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So my uh, commission uh, portraits are from photographs mm -hmm. because people, children, uh, it's mm -hmm. difficult to get them to sit. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, and so uh, I try and make it as painless for them as possible. So I usually will do a a photo shoot uh, that is, uh, you know, a couple of hours where where mm -hmm. I, I'll shoot a couple hundred photographs and then together with the client we'll decide the direction that we're going to go with the composition, mm -hmm. and uh, then then the client is also pretty sure about what it is that they're getting uh, at at the end of right. it. Right. Because right. the thing is that uh, I've done a lot of of shows where I've. Uh, been demonstrating and people come through mm -hmm. so I've heard every horror story that there is about portraiture you know of oh, my mom had a painting of me done and it didn't look anything like me or you know it took yeah. years to get it or um, you know whatever it's a lot of horror stories out there about portraiture you learn what not to do yes <laughs> exactly right. yeah. and so I uh, uh, I, whenever someone commissions a portrait with me, I, I guarantee the likeness and they must be delighted with the painting or they can't have it. Oh. Uh, so 
I make sure that I have a very good resource to start with. Well, how wonderful. Yeah, and being a photographer too, I mean, you already know composition, you know lighting, you know, so Hopefully. you know value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw some of your photos that are here and yeah. they're gorgeous. Thank you. So, Thank mm. you very much. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I do work hard to get a photograph that uh, everyone likes. Source photographs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then I always go back to the client to deliver it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I do an unveiling, you know, in the living room or wherever it is. And uh, I'm going to jump ahead real yeah. quick because okay. I just want to say that, sure. um, oh, I was going to ask you to share your website at the end and, oh. I, and I still will, but okay. they've got, people have to see the YouTube of, um, how do you say her name? Nichol Nichelle Nichols. Nichelle Nichols. Yes with her unveiling. Oh, that thank you. That was so wonderful to see. Oh, thank you. I, that okay. is on my Instagram. That, oh, okay. Uh, and, I, and it's on my, um, it's on my website as well. Yes, yes. that's where I saw it. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 When I went to unveil the, that painting to her, um, she, she cried and, uh, and it, 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 yeah, she's, it's, uh, it's sad and yet she doesn't really realize it. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's not sad about That's the best it. way to be, right? That's right. That's right. So she's very present all the time, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is a real lesson to us all about just being able to be present. Oh, well said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good thoughts. So you're not always, uh, not only a um, wonderful artist and instructor, you are um, wise. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm terribly wise. <laughs> Where was <so. laughs> Can't you tell? That is correct. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, do you want to share just a little bit about maybe your approach with the Portrait Society um, members that see this? Just um, um, a well, quick synapse. Uh, um, uh, you know, I I really look for when I'm doing a portrait, and I pretty much do portraits. I don't do landscapes or. Um, uh, you know, still lives. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried to, and I just find that I uh, the work is not masterful. And um, I wish I could, uh, you know, find that place into mastery with those subjects. I just haven't. And um, portraiture, I think, because it's uh, it's so rigorous in terms of um, you know, if it's off just a little, it's not your person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I like that about it. I have a degree in chemistry, so you know it's the, the yeah the exactness of it is uh, something I like, um, and uh, and it requires a lot of of me. And also, I think uh, it's a challenging thing to do. Uh, just out there, as you talk to people about portraits, um, they they say I, you know. Well, that's, I would do anything except portraits. I I've think that's that the piece. biggest fear yeah. because, you know, if your tree isn't the same or your mountain isn't quite right. I'll yeah, who knows? Most, right. Exactly. Doesn't exactly. Matter. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I really look for what is beautiful in the subject and that's what I want to capture. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I shoot photographs that, that uh, capture that about the person. And then, um, and then I, I, there is a, a process that I go through. I've, I've just this article um, that I wrote for the, the, uh, the Portrait Society that's in this newest episode oh. of International Artists. Um, it talks a little bit about, you know, how do you know if it's done? Oh, right. right. And uh, so uh, I used to. Uh, rent a studio in downtown Portland and um, this uh, woman would, would teach meditation and clairvoyant classes in my space and she would do it in the evenings when I wasn't there and she called me after about six months and she said uh, um, I'm not gonna rent your space anymore and I said what well, what you know why is that and she said well she said there is energy in your in your portraiture uh, really, you know, spiritual energy in your portraiture, and it's confusing to the people who are trying to read energy, who are in these classes. Wow. And 
I was like, you know, you could have just said you didn't want to rent the space anymore. You didn't have to make up this, this story. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, I, I, I do think that something happens where I recognize the person, not just their physical being, but their spiritual being somehow is there. Mm. And so when people say, well, how long does it take for you to do a portrait? I, I always answer, it depends on how much I suffer. You know, because, uh, right. um, uh. you know, how long does it take me to get to a place where I really feel that the likeness of the spiritual person and the physical person is locked in? Mm. Uh. And um, so it could be 40 to 60 hours or it could be 120 or, you right. know, whatever. Right. The painting more than a face. Yes. It's painting a person. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. It's, I paint much faster if it's not a specific person. If I'm just painting a head, I can do it in, you know, a few hours. Uh, uh, but if I, if it's somebody and it's a specific person, then that's a different story to me. Wow, wow. Fascinating. Uh, just the fact that they could feel your energy there. That's yeah, yeah. I, I actually f found it to be high praise, uh, you know, to, to yeah, to, as to artists, I mean, that's, we want people to feel yeah. when they see our work, right? Yeah, and, and I do have people, you know, if I'm at a show and I have a, a collection of work there, I do have people walk in and, and tear up. It's mm -hmm. really so mm -hmm. sweet, you know, it's, and I tear up when I see Best work. Best compliment ever. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's a, it, it really can move you in a, in a very unique way. Wow, wow. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, yeah. So, um, with probably just a couple minutes left, um, were, you, were there any like milestones in your career that you would love to to share, um, or um, any like real specific influences other than? Um, so my, I would say the biggest influence um, has been uh, Leonid Gurevitz, who is a, a Russian, and he uh, teaches at the New York Art Students League mm -hmm. in Manhattan. And, um, and he, uh, he taught me how to paint, and he uh, is also my biggest critic, and, um, and has become a very dear friend. Oh, I've been painting cool. with him for 20 years. And, um, right. Oh, how wonderful to have somebody like that, a mentor, yeah. to me at all times, yeah. for, yeah. for a long period of time. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure you're a mentor to many others, too, so I, as a teacher. I try to be, you know, thing. because it's, uh, uh, I, I do. I I benefited so much from it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really a gift to me. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna pick this magazine up and look at this. Well, I want to everyone to see that this is um, this next coming up issue, the current issue of um, International Artists World Member. So we all should get a copy and look for Art of the Portrait. Yay! And Robin's um, process and uh, this is a. This is a second painting uh, that I did of Michelle Nichols, um, and uh, the first one is a very serious um, uh, portrait, and she mm. is giving us a, a, a subtle uh, live long and prosper. Um, this one is who she is one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. She's very big laugh, very mm. body, and uh, you know, usually yeah. I would not uh, paint a portrait uh, with a smile like that because I like for portraits to look like somebody actually did sit for you. But um, in this case, it just this had such great energy, I just uh, thought it would be uh, a lovely second portrait um, of, of her. It's gorgeous. You really have a, a sense of um, her happiness and her lightness. Yeah, in yeah. That too. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Thank well, you. Thank you. I was very honored to be asked to write that article for the Portrait Society. It was a, like, when they asked me, I said, this is a dream come true for me, oh. that you would ask me to do that. So. And, we, and we get to benefit, so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, um, thank you so much for thank your you. time. I know you're in the middle of a workshop and teaching, so I know how tiring that can be. And um, but before we go, just do you want to say a little bit, if somebody wants to contact you, um, hire you for a, a commission or to teach a workshop or to be a student somewhere 
Where is your studio and um, how can they reach you or your okay. website? Okay, so my website is um, www.robindemore.com and it's uh, Demore, D-A-M-O-R-E, like the more you want, the more you get. <laughs> and um, it's uh, it, my studio is in Vancouver, Washington, uh, as opposed to Vancouver, Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and I teach uh, workshops usually in the spring and the fall at my studio. Oh. Uh, both of those workshops are full for this year, but next year they'll be available. Uh, I'm teaching this workshop in Alaska right now. Uh, and we'll be teaching one in Colorado, um, in Niwot, a little town hmm. uh, in Colorado, uh, in, um, in August. And there are still some spots left there. Great. And uh, I, uh, and you can contact me uh, through the website um, if you have questions or um, uh, if you want to see my materials list uh, for for classes, mm -hmm. uh, um, all that's on the website. Great, that, that's wonderful. Do you have a newsletter people can sign up for? I, or I wish I I did. Okay. I wish I was that organized. They can just go yeah. to the website, <laughs> and find out, and see your workshops. And yes, then. and uh, you can follow me on Instagram too. Oh, I I um I would say that my most recent work is on Instagram. That uh, updating the the website is a slower process. But the, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the, the shoemaker's children kind of thing. You know, I, it's, it is, and I, Instagram's so, so fast and easy uh, to, to update. That's, uh, that's that kind of where my focus is for most recent work. Mm -hmm. I, I feel the same, the same yeah. way. So yeah. I understand. I'll find you and follow. And if you're not, please do. And uh, I think we'll all benefit from learning. So again, Thank, Thank you, you so much. What a pleasure getting to know you and um, having you here. So, Thank you. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Ciao for now.